Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and as you see our building train is building stuff. Uh, what I'm going to grab from the building train is an oil refinery or five and I'm going to grab a couple of chemical plants. Oh I have plenty of these actually. Goodness me I didn't realize I had some on me. Okay I think we're going to let the uh, the train go onward. So go ahead and go back to base. Now, how many of these um, bots do we want? I'm thinking we're going to want these guys. I think we're maybe going to want 50. Um, and then the opposite on our Logi bots. I think we're going to want something like 3,000 here. Just as a... Uh, a, a, an outside number. I have no idea how many we're going to need. We'll, we'll have to see when it goes. But anyway, so my goal for to start off the episode is I would love to get some fuel for the trains. And to do that, we're going to need some uh, crude oil. Did I get any pump jacks? Oh, I have six. Excellent. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Did I just do that? All right. So the first thing we want to do is just take this... Um, this belt along here because we're going to build a fuel supply. Go this way. Do, 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 do. Oh, and by the way, I uh, I did disconnect these two networks. I'm taping these in a um, in one session, so I'm sure I have gotten comments about, oh no, this is connected to the solar network. No, it's not anymore. It's it's all good. Uh, as we can see, they are disconnected right there. All right, let's go back and. We can probably, actually this is a good idea, just to get some of these trees out of the way. So the nice straight shot up here where we can collect uh, some some pump jacks, some bill from pump jacks. This is probably going to be too much, just having a small amount of pump jacks here. Uh, let's go rotate that a little bit. Oh dear, not like that. There we go, like this. And I have forgotten, unfortunately, to bring my power poles with me. Oh no. Can you can you not do this game, please? You know, you'd think that you when you're walking along, you wouldn't trip over giant rocks and stuff, but then you'd be wrong. Yeah, because you do. <laughs> Such a weirdness. Sorry. Okay, let's go. Let's just have that going along there. And last thing there, right. And we'll get our... Oh, we actually don't need power poles all the way, do we? Because we can go this way. Grab that one to go there. Have these in a nice little straight line here. Okay, good. I think I'm going to turn off my nano emitters at the moment. So what we're going to do here is build a tiny, tiny little plant for making fuel, uh, rocket fuel. So what we're going to need is to have maybe a couple of refineries, or do we need more than one? The th Where I got this idea is that Mike, um, Mike C, who has been really wonderful with creating all kinds of interesting things, he said, you know, why not just make fuel on site? All you need is one refinery and a couple of, um, you know, chem plants. I think we had three. I don't remember his exact design, but I was really fascinated by the whole thing. I thought it was very, very entertaining. So what we're going to do is just, I think it's one to one on the rocket fuel to solid fuel conversion, right? Solid fuel takes three seconds and rocket fuel takes 30 seconds. Yeah, right. I really don't know how many we're going to need, but we'll, we'll have a go. We shall have a go. I want to go like one, two, three, maybe. I don't know how many we'll need. Maybe a couple, maybe more. I don't know. We're going to make a rocket fuel. And then we're going to have our solid fuel thingies coming out. Is that one space in between? I think it should be. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. And this one is going to be... Um, we could actually do heavy to light, couldn't we? Because it's actually better to go heavy to light. 
fact, I will grab these guys and put them the other way around. Put them like this for now. Alright, and you are gonna be... Something else. We need to have probably two light. And then one petroleum to solid fuel. And these guys are gonna have little inserters going like this. Okay. These guys are going to output to a to the belt. Like that. And we're going to have one taking This one's going to go from heavy oil to light oil, or alternatively, we could just have heavy to solid fuel. Well, in any case, it'll be fine. Now, I don't know how many refineries we're going to need. I don't know how many trains we're going to have. This is what's kind of driving the whole thing. I'm going to put in two refineries so far. We're going to need to have a... In fact, this might be better if I did it this way. And we'll have, this is going to go like this to those three. These can go out like this. This one is going to be our this to that. And we'll have two different, like that. Okay. Right. This is kind of strange. I've never built things backwards before like this. I always tend to build them in a sp very specific kind of way. Um, right. It's okay. It'll be fine. So this is going to be our... That'll go like that. In fact, I'll take this down and just make it passable. And then this one is going to be our light fuel, which is going to connect to there. Coal liquefaction. We want probably advanced oil processing. Oh, with that. Oh, I messed up my ratios. I'm going to need another probably solid fuel or another um, petroleum thingy with this. Okay, that's fine. It'll be fine. Do not worry, KOS. Do not worry. We need one more space. Definitely need one more space. Come on. Where is it? There we are. You know what? I'm going to make spaces. We don't need to be all next to each other. It's okay. There's no need to be crowded. It's fine. Right. Nice. These guys are going to be connected like that. You go like this, and we're going to just connect like we normally do. Excellent. Like that. And then we'll easily be able to connect them up uh, with this way and not tangle things and not get things totally messed up. This is actually much, much better. I'm glad I decided to do this this way. Good. Great. And then the water line is going to go to the coast, which is thankfully not too far off. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, the trees. Okay. Okay, I, I made a an offshore pump before the episode started. Now, if only I could find it. There it is. Nice. Let's get those going that way. I have too many nanobots and not enough of these guys. I think I want like 200 termite bot things. Auto trash. We're going to auto trash these guys. Because I haven't been using my nanobots at all. Not since my robots started getting way, way fast. Which is definitely a blessing. Right. There we go. And these shall be connected here.
There we are. Okay, let's make this work. We need a couple of power poles and then we just need to connect our oil and we should be good to go. Now then, we're gonna get our water. I forgot to do that part on the blueprint, alas. Nice. Okay, and here we go. All right, let's watch this work. Are you working? You're not working. You're not working because I didn't add water. Just add water. Excellent. Here we go. Here we go. Things are going to happen. Right. This is happening. This needs a little bit more heavy oil to convert into light oil. Excellent. These guys are starting to produce stuffs. There they go. Are we filling up on anything yet? Not yet. These guys are still taking stuff in. Right. We have not totally overcrowded the pipes just yet, which is quite nice. Okay, there comes our rocket fuel. Now, the question is, is how long is it going to take for them to fill up again? It's going to take 30 seconds. Seems to be an okay ratio at the very, at this moment. There it goes, and it's continually producing. Fantastic. Our first three pieces of rocket fuel are good to go. Oops, I forgot to do an output there. Can I put uh, productivity modules in these? Oh my god, I can. I don't need to, though. I'm going to take them out. Um, because we have almost infinite oil. I could, however, put speed modules in there. That might be a far better use of our modules if we wanted to. There we go. There we go. Now we can make stuff super fast. Yay! I don't think that's a good use of speed modules either. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be fine. We're just going to wait for this to go um, and work the way it needs to work. Let's go here. Let's take our chem plants and um, we're just going to take the modules out of these guys quite easily like this or not. Save changes. There we go. And then these guys will just replop them, I think. Okay. Copy and paste them over. All right. Nice. Okay, so that should last us pretty much forever. Oh, I need to drop off the solid fuel back over there. I don't want to have it sitting around. There we go. Excellent. Now we're going to be able to fuel our trains that go here. Oh, look at how much rocket fuel has been generated already. Look at that. Nice. All right, let's run back to the station. Okay. Oh wow, what am I? What am I doing? Hello? Okay, they're they're just supplying me with stuff. Okay, that's fine. Now here, I think we're going to just need to put in some more um, robo ports here because of the robot intense. Uh, intensive nature of this whole area. Let's get um, our power poles. Hey, it doesn't fit. It's okay. We'll get it. We'll get it one day. It'll be fine. Here we go. Plop, plop, plop. Fizz, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a wonderful thing it is. Right. All right. We have lots and lots of pickup stations. Right now, they're all red. Nobody can come in here because, remember, we have this condition that does not allow them to come in unless they have um, a sufficient amount of supplies for the trains. All right, so we already have some of these guys having a little bit of fuel in here. Good, good. I'm just guessing that the belt is too fast for them to pick up a lot of fuel, but that should be continuing shortly to produce stuff. 
Now, I think what I want to do with this whole system is use a, a belt-based smelting thing that has robots on either end of it. I like that idea. Do we have one here? Smelting beacon with productivity modules. That's probably exactly what we want. Now the question is to just, why do I call this? Is this the same thing? I think it is. 16 and 16, 12 and 3. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. It's just um, named differently. So let's delete this guy. We only need one. Right. And we have blue circuits. We've got our beacons. Yes, tasty, nice. Okay. Let's go here. Beacon with productivity modules. Now. For this whole thing, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have the output come out one side and then we're going to have, or well, we're going to have the ore come in from the top and then from the outside, we need a way to catch the produce, i.e. with uh, provider chests. Uh, so we're going to do something very similar to what we had down here, right here like this to catch the stuff that's coming out of them. So let me go and collect these. Oh, and by the way, I need to change that chest out. Uh, I think it was KD. Thank you so much for mentioning that. This should actually be a um, either a passive provider uh, or a an active provider because what happens is if I walk through here and I have stuff in my trash the robots are gonna just gonna shove it in there and while it's not gonna cause any difficulty per se it's kind of like eh, you know not great so I think what I'll do is I'll make it an active provider uh, so it'll get emptied first okay now let's grab this stuff here and we can grab these guys as well in fact, we could grab the whole lot. Grab all of these RoboPorts too. All right, let's grab this whole thing like this. Right. So this represents how many? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve furnace columns of produce. I think that's a lot for now. I think that's probably enough for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to center this on our train stations, like here. Okay, and it's okay if all this is connected. That's perfect. That's what we want. Um, we need to get these guys connected, though, via power pole. There we go. Ah, and these need also connections. Oh, no, not there. No, not there. Here. Thank you. Wait, is that too far? It is too far from everything. No. Nope. There we go. Okay. It's important to have quite a lot of RoboPorts in here for charging our bots. Right, so at this point, we can definitely lay out some of our furnace columns. So let's go and grab our blueprint from our world here. Now the thing is that we need to figure out how, how wide this needs to be. So if we go from the center, we're gonna need at least six height in belts. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but I'd like to leave at least like two or three, four more, and then we can connect stuff in. Just to have a little bit of leeway, get things sorted. We have lots of space. We have this entire area of space, so we do not need to worry how far it's gonna be. All right, so we're done with that. Let's get rid of this thing and go grab this one as our main blueprint for now. We're gonna make sure how the ore coming downward. And I think I'll start from the center, like right there-ish. Okay, 
And we'll want to have the output just above that buffer thing. And here we go. Let's just make, I don't know, how many are we going to make? For green circuits right now, we're using four columns of iron. Let's just make this decently big. Let's let's start with maybe six. I would like to get all of the modules in the six columns before we um, build any more. That's pretty important to, to do because you really want to have things available. Oh, hello, robots. Thank you very much. Uh, you want to have some of the assemblies ready to go. Uh, if not, then you, you're going to have issues. Okay, let's get here. How many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's do the sixth, like right there. And at some point, this could even be, be a self-building situation. Okay, now this belt thing, we want it to go here. Okay, and we're going to use undergrounds as much as possible in this situation as well. So the next one's going to go here. Oopsies. Actually, we're going to go like this. Okay. Connect that one there. Oopsies. And we'll, we'll have one more out here. All right, cool. How are we doing on the building size of the area? Can that, you can't reach the end. Right, so we're gonna have to go Make sure that we have enough robo ports just to cover this area. And let's get our power pole here. Ooh, wait, have I got stuff screwed up here? Are things okay on this blueprint? I have this extra power pole, how inconvenient. Why the heck is that there? But it goes on the other side of this, so it's actually in a it's an okay spot. It's like not in an in an offensive spot, which is okay. It's not too bad. Not that bothered about it. Have all of our stuff happening in the trees here, evidently. Jeez. Okay. Next side. Um, let's go take this one there. Just get all these things connected up. And this one's gonna go there. And here, since we're building for endgame, we're doing some serious UPS savings here. We do not wanna have any excess belts around here. Nothing like that. Gotta keep it all very nice and tidy. Okay, so this is gonna work. Oh, we have no storage for logs. How unfortunate. Well, okay, hold on. Let's um, stop this train. Stop, please. Okay, let's add an extra um, car here. What we're going to do is we're going to put all the um, junk stuff on here. Let's grab these two. We're going to request stone. 200 stone. And then these are going to request wood. 500 wood a piece. All right, and we'll have these loaded on. Okay, good. And this will just be our cargo wagon for taking junk back to the base, which seems very reasonable. So how are we doing here? I think we're doing okay. We need more coverage, I think, on the robo ports. Yes, we need one on the other side to go here. All right. I don't really want to use the termites over here because I think it's cool to have all these trees around. Uh, they probably are not going to survive, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
Okay, so we're going to let our train go and bring us more stuff. Wait. Hold on, train. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Why is it not taking out... Wait. I did... No, 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 no. Manual, manual. Hold on. Is this... At... I wonder if this is requesting too many items now. Oh my god, it's not requesting furnaces? No. The sadness is real. Oh my god. All right, let's request 50 furnaces for now. Um, get 50 of those as well. I thought I added that as like one of the first things. Apparently not. Okay, train, go ahead and go back to our station. Let's try that again. Play it again, Sam. Uh, <laughs> so we can get this sorted. I think I also... Let's move that... Um, this is right. That's what we want to do here. That's what we want to do there. That's just fine. I need an empty blueprint though, like that one. I'm going to move these to the other side just to be consistent with these guys. There we go. Okay, train, come back. Give us furnaces. <laughs> I really want furnaces. There we go. Is it also getting modules? Did we run out of modules? We did not run out of modules yet. Train, you're gonna stay here until we figure out what's going on with you. It's asking for 50 modules. We have, we have modules, but they're just not in place. Maybe they just haven't been distributed yet because we didn't have the furnaces. That's probably what it is actually, now that I'm thinking about it. All right, so go ahead and go We'll go for like 10 seconds of inactivity instead of, um, oh no, no, no. That one we're going to do five at the base station. And here we're going to have 10 seconds. Give it a little chance for the robots to place stuff uh, and then they can go along. Now, if you have a query, I never didn't think about this. I intentionally am not loading rocket fuel onto the building train, mostly because I, um, I'm fueling it with wood from the base, and I really want to use up the wood. I don't want to use rocket fuel on that. However, these trains, they can go a little faster. I don't mind about that at all. All right. This is looking really nice. I'm so excited. This is looking very, very good. Right. So now... We're going to build something quite similar uh, on this side of the world. We're going to need to load each of these belts with a uh, product. So these guys really want them to go lower, like here. Definitely not up there. Yeah, yeah, definitely there, not there. I'm going to give you a power pull there. I went a little bit too high on those guys, I think. Okay, like right there. Okay. And power pole. Oh my god, the trees. I literally can't move. Nice. Okay. We're going to get our loading things here. We're going to load ore onto each of these things. Okay, we're going to get rid of... You know what? I'm going to put that darn thing in my thing. Uh, here, this thing is going to go in the game blueprints and I can finally delete it. This also is going to go in game blueprints for now. I can also delete it. Excellent. This is also can be deleted. Um... Oh yeah, sometimes people have questions like, how do you delete an empty blueprint? Uh, you can't right click on it, obviously. It doesn't do anything. But if you just print it into something, then you can just, you know, right click on it and delete it like that. Okay, this one we can get rid of. Okay, now we have stuff. Let's get requester chests. We're going to get three of these for each column. Now, technically, you'd only need two to fill a belt, but 
We want to have a little bit of leeway here. In fact, I'm thinking of maybe doing four just to have plenty of ore that can be processed because these guys are going to go pretty fast. Um, so we're going to we want to make sure that we have plenty of ore here. So we're going to request iron ore in the quantity of something like, I don't know, 200 or 300 units, maybe a lot or a reasonable amount, in other words. We're going to give you, I think we'll put in a substation here. Yeah, a substation per two things seems very reasonable to me. So let's just copy this whole area and shove it along here. Perfect. Oh, and that fits so beautifully, doesn't it? That's lovely. I like. Okay, so we're going to just copy this along at all of our areas. Oopsies. I get caught up in a ride on the conveyor belts. Oh dear. And now we can do something very similar to this situation over here. We're going to have uh, the trains loading into or unloading into chests. And what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about having them unload into storage chests um, for, and then have the stations be active providers. I don't know if that's a good idea though, because it just seems like it would move the buffer to one area or another. The, the critical thing in this is that the trains will have a very low chance of actually <laughs> unloading. Um, the first train, if I, I'm thinking about putting the trains uh, east west and that the bottom station is probably going to get used the most um, because of unloading. And I want to do a similar situation, except the reverse from here. You know, uh, if if the train station has too much ore and the train cannot unload, you cannot go to that station. But do I want an extra buffer? That's my current dilemma. Um, to kind of have a little bit, I don't know, of leeway. I'm not quite sure how, what, what I'm thinking about here. It's kind of hard to think about I, in a way. There we go. We'll have these guys. And we do want to have, again, like a whole bar of these little, um, not little, but just robo ports here. So that the bots can charge like this, for example. There we go. Oh my god, I have so many bots. I have so many construction robots. Where the heck did they come from? They might have come from down here, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'd love to be able to insert them into oh no no no! don't take this stuff <laughs> don't take the nanobots oh god it's an auto trash no <laughs> oh so funny i could put some of these in my trash down here though so that they take them from me and put them into the solar array area hello bots can you come find me now now that I want them to come, they're nowhere in sight. Eek. Oh, there they come. There we go. Hello, Araminta. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful girl you are. Yes, my beautiful girl. Yes. Oh my goodness, my kitten is, she's so proud, just standing up and just arching her little backy, and I'm raised her tail. Oh, what a precious little girl she is. I feel like kind of, you know what I'll do? I'm going to weevil my way into here and I'm just gonna take these guys shove them in where did they go oh they're there never mind I lost them for a bit there and just do that and then just replace it behind me there we go all right so now we have this constructed okay we're feeling pretty good about this. I think that's probably where we should leave off for now. Um, oh, look at this. We have more stuff all getting sorted out. Isn't that nice? 
And um, these are actually in the range of the substations, which is extra handy and extra neat and tidy, which um, is going to appeal to us if we can get past the, the real enemy of Factorio, which is the trees. <laughs> Alrighty, so now the other thing that we can do, I um, as a bonus, I've been thinking about is actually getting some of this ore mined into um, just into uh, extra providers for our smelting columns. So anyway, that's all upcoming. Unfortunately, we have run out of time for this episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.